Team-based learning is an innovative and effective learning module. Its main connotation includes forming teams. The students are divided into several teams. The next objective is to lay out and using cooperative discussions for problem solving as the core of classes. Its main idea is to make learning initiative back to the hands of students. The teacher's role is to be mainly in guiding and promoting teamwork. In current social climate, where there are classes with larger number of students, they will learn how to communicate, cooperate, and share, thereby clearly demonstrating the benefit of large classes. Next is technology assistance. Teachers use technology to promote student learning in large classes. Technology can play a greater role to allow teachers to master the learning situation of individuals, the teams, and the entire class. Team-based learning has the following advantages. To students, it can stimulate their proactive passions in learning. Through group discussions, it also can promote higher level of mental process such as integration, evaluation, creativities, and etc. It further enhances the group's collaborative approaches and techniques. For a teacher, in a team-solving process, it satisfies both examinations and the quality demanded in education. The teacher also spends less time on the podium while students have more time discussing. This results in easier transition from teacher-centered to student-centered classes. The very ideas of students and their mutual learning will benefit students at all levels. At the same time, in flipped classroom activities, team-based learning will play an even stronger role. There are several features in operating smarter classroom under team-based learning environment. First, every group will have a tablet to research, collect, produce, and respond while every student will have a clicker to personalize his or her answers. Compare this to a tablet for every student, the teacher's management load will be significantly lightened. The sharing of a tablet by a group will lessen the chance of students getting stuck in operating tablets and allows teaching to flow more smoothly. Team-based learning has the following key mechanisms. Number one, heterogeneous grouping. Balance group cooperative resources and create mutual aid opportunities. Number two, precision in monitoring. Understand the level of individuals, groups, and their entire class. Number three, team motivation. Inspections and sampling questions by teachers to promote group discussions and learning. Number four, thinking and discussion. First, personal reflection and then group discussions. Number five, competitive collaboration. Teams compare their works to encourage competitions and cooperation. Number six, selecting a student to present. Randomly pick one of the students to represent the team and to inspire mutual learning. Number seven, assessment and reward. Assessment among student peers and the teacher evaluations to encourage participation. Next, we will introduce several cases of team-based learning. Step one, set up questions to be asked. Students need to be properly grouped. The teacher will then announce important conceptual issues to be discussed. He or she must also provide supplementary information, focus, suggestions, and rules for discussions. Step 2. Self-solution. Give some time for students to independently understand and solve problems. Then ask students to write down in the notebook the process of problem solving and the logic behind it. The teacher can then use the HiTA Teaching Assistant Smartphone app to snapshot solutions worthy of further discussions. Step 3. Group discussion. Employ group problem-solving discussions to ensure that each participant understands. The agreed-upon solution can then be recorded in the tablet. Of course, during the process, the student tablet is also available as a research and search tool. Step 4. Aggregated Comparison Each group sends its problem-solving page to the teacher, who will collect and organize all the pages into one on the touch screen and send it back to the groups. Lastly, allow time for all the groups to discuss the practice of others. Step 5. Lock up the draw. Randomly selected student will come to share the group's answer. The student's performance will represent the team's achievement, which can effectively promote mutual learning and teamwork. If the student is really not good at presentation, the teacher can then offer encouragement and the students from the same group can also come to the rescue. 
Step six, peer assessment. All students will assess each group based on the performance score given to the group. Then the teacher will supplement commentary and recognize each group according to the team's final performance. In terms of the classroom teaching model, there are three levels involving the process of transforming to a student-oriented practice. The first level is the traditional LBL lecture-based learning. The second level is TBL team-based learning, and the third is PBL problem-based learning. Generally, to move from LBL to TBL or even PBL requires a substantial amount of efforts. But with the help of smarter classroom, the process can be easier than ever 